Hello everyone, this is Steven Zhou from AMO Tutorings. Today we're going to talk about how to uh, graph a, a trigonometry functions. Okay, a lot of students have a problem with this part because it is so much work in paper. Okay, for example, we have a function like cosine 2x plus pi over 6 plus 5, so which is a cosine function increase by 5 and then move left by pi over 6, expand 2 times on y-axis, and then shrink 2 times on the x-axis. It is easy to say in here, but it's really hard to draw on papers. Okay, This is why I invented duck and sheep rules. Basically, duck is sine functions, and sheep is a cosine functions. Basically, using these rules, you never get mistakes on these kind of questions. Okay, so this is how we do that part. First thing, we we'll draw a coordinate, and then instead of writing y equal to 0 or x axis here, we're writing y equal to 5 because the whole function, whole cosine function is increased by 5 unit. So y equal to 5 here. Okay, the 2 is amplitude. So we draw in a guideline here, which is 7 here because 5 plus 2. And then same thing here. It is which is equal to 3. Okay, now we're done with the 2 and the 5 here. The hard part is how to deal with the period inside. Okay, let's expand these things first. 2x plus pi over 3, which is at times the 2 inside here. Okay, we got uh, less than 2 pi and then bigger than 0. Why is that? Because the normal cosine functions is less than 2 pi and bigger than 0. So now what we're looking for is looking for our function x. What is the period? So we're going to isolate x. How to isolate x? First things, we're moving pi over 3 to the other side. 2 pi minus pi over 3. And then this will be 0 minus pi over 3. Okay, and then we got a 2 pi, a 2x, less than 66 pi over 3 minus pi over 3 would be 5 pi over 3, and then bigger than negative pi over 3. And then we divide by 2, both sides would be x less than 5 pi over 6, and then bigger than pi over 6, negative. Okay, now we isolate x. This period, this range is our new period of these functions. So we just randomly pick a point here, for example here, we just call it 5 pi over 6, and then I move left because it's negative pi over 6. It's not need, no need to be very precisely, so like I gave an estimation is enough, because no one really, no teachers or markers actually measuring what, you, what is actually 5 pi over 6 or not. Okay, and then we just finding here, finding the middle point in this place. And then what we drawing? It's a cosine function. Cosine function is a shape. So we're going to draw a shape in here. So we'll be, let's go to draw a shape in here. There we go. And then sorry about the draw, uh, graphing here. Okay, so it's supposed to be touch here. Okay, uh, so that is a cosine function with this one. Okay, and then we expand in a little bit to the right and to the left, and then we finished. 